Um, it all come about in November. Um, we started driving around, um, giving the rough sleep of warm clothes, sleeping bags, um, just making sure that they was as looked after as they can be. Um, we then decided that we wanted to do more. It's a simple idea. It's um, in all fairness, I mean, the amount of the, uh, the uh, bus cost to be converted, it's all been paid by the community. So it, all it's took is my labour um, and a few volunteers, and, and this is what we've created. There's 14 bunks upstairs. Uh, we've got a log stove uh, downstairs to keep the, uh, the bus heat. Uh, it's got a fully working kitchen. It's got a bathroom with a shower, toilet and hand basin. Uh, it, it's got everything that you'd want, really. But no, it, it, it's nice hearing everybody's response of the work that we've put into it. Um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 the overall experience has just been overwhelming. The idea is, is obviously to get the guests on, the ones that are down on their luck, don't feel as if we've got nowhere else to go. We can help them engage with what they need to engage with, i.e. Um, outreach services. We can arrange voluntary work for them once they're um, uh, level-headed. Um, and the idea is, the ultimate goal is to move them on to permanent accommodation. There is, on average, about 20 that are sleeping on the streets uh, for many reasons, um, and it is on the increase. You've got relationship breakdowns, you've just got people that have hit rock bottom and don't feel they've got anywhere else to turn to. Um, it's, it, it's many reasons. I mean, every case is different, every story is different. So there's lots of reasons, and there's lots of reasons why they can be turned around and get back into society.